What's up, everybody? It's Anila Sita. The channel's Anila Sita 101. If you're new to my channel, this is the spiritual bad bitch side of YouTube. If you want to stay here, subscribe, like the video. <laughs> Today we're going to talk about something that I posted this on my TikTok and it just blew the fuck up and it seems that people really want to know how to do this. Please know that I have my own methods. I would like to say there's probably several ways that you can communicate with your spirit guides. This is just how I do it. First off, I got a lot of negative comments about this video I posted on TikTok because people were saying that they are afraid and that doing this could allow some kind of demonic entity to enter you. So what I would like to say about this is everything in this world is energy and frequency. The frequency of fear is not the frequency you want to be on because there is no need to have any fear. I used to be the kind of person that used to be very afraid of these kind of things and would not even entertain it because I just didn't know what kind of power I was dealing with. As I went more into the spiritual journey, I've done extensive quantum healing. I still am on my healing journey. I have not finished, obviously. I don't think we ever do, but I've learned a lot. So I just want you to know that you're protected and you are safe. You have no need to be afraid. Your spirit guides are literally here to protect, guide, and communicate with you. They're here to cheer you on. Everybody has a team of spirit guides and angels. And the thing is that when you try to communicate with them, you are addressing them. As I get into how I do this, I'll obviously share with you the technique and how I personally do it. As you do this, you are addressing your spirit guides, which means that no entity is going to come in because your spirit guides wouldn't allow that. They're protecting you, especially when you call them into your space. You're asking for that love and that protection and that guidance. That is a very high energy. It's love and no entity can access you if you have no fear. No entity can access you if you are full of love. So please understand that you don't have to be afraid of this kind of stuff. If you still feel afraid, then I suggest ask your spirit guides to put you in a bubble of golden and white light. This is what I do whenever I, you know, go outside and it's maybe like the night hours and I'm not sure where I'm around. I ask to be put into a bubble of golden and white light. And I kid you not, every single time I've done this, nothing has ever happened to me. Basically, understand that if you do have this fear, you literally just ask for them to put that light around you. So first I'm going to share with you the technique and then I'm going to share with you some interesting stories like this works and the stuff that has come through. What I do is I make sure that I'm on my own in some kind of space where I can speak out loud and not feel weird about it, I guess. So in your room, sometimes I even do this in the shower and I whisper to myself. <laughs> so you can literally do this anywhere. I say my problem. Okay, so I speak. I speak out loud as if speaking to a therapist. I'm like, dear spirit guides, like I'm having this situation right now and I just really don't know what to do about it. You know, I tell them about my problem. I just keep talking until I feel like I've said enough. And then I go ask my questions and I go, what am I supposed to do about this? Like, what is this trying to teach me? Like, what is, what, where is this even going? Like, why is this happening? Can you please explain? I just don't understand. And then I go, I allow you to speak through me now, spirit guides. And then after I've allowed them to speak through me, I literally just speak anything that comes to mind. I'm gonna say, it's not gonna feel like a freaking ghost enters your body. It literally just feels like your mind is just speaking. A lot of people, when they do this, and this is what comments have said on TikTok, they feel like they're just talking to themselves. So I can answer those questions as well of like, how can I distinguish if... I'm talking to myself or if it's my spirit guides talking through me. A great way to distinguish this is sometimes when I'm doing it, I ask questions that I know, like myself, I'm like, I don't know the answer to this. I don't, I have no idea, you know, like I'll ask a question like, why is this happening? I'm obviously asking that question because I, I don't know why it's happening. So if you ask a question that you clearly don't know the answer to, and then just allow yourself to speak freely. So it will be something like, you know, so my love, the reason why this is happening is because we are trying to trigger you. We are trying to trigger you so that you can heal this part of yourself. You know, some kind of answer is going to come through. This is a bit where like the ego can sometimes interfere and the ego can be like, you know, your ego is going to tell you this is stupid. Like this doesn't work. It's just my mind talking to me. But 
allow it, surrender, stop thinking about it so much. I remember like when I tried to do these things in the beginning, I, it didn't work for me, you know, I was like, my ego was way too much in the way, and my, I was way too much in my head, I was overthinking things. And then when I just allowed it to flow, like I would go into a park and just be there in the park when it was empty and, you know, kind of speak out loud and just allow the information to come through. And what's crazy is like, the more I did it, I realized that the information that comes through is very divine and accurate. So please understand that this is not dangerous. You have no need to be afraid of it. And it's actually really fun. It's helped me a lot to have guidance. I almost feel like I can overcome anything because it's not me alone. You know, it's like I have my team of spirit guides as you do as well. This is how I do it. What you can also do is you can do this in writing. I actually got this exercise from a YouTuber called Ella Ringrose and the way she does it, she also has like her own method but the way that I do it is like I would write down all of the things I'm feeling so I would be like oh I'm feeling like a journal entry literally I'd be like I'm feeling like shit today I have so much anxiety blah 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 and then I ask my questions the same way I would do it spoken but I would be like you know um why is this happening can you please explain? And then I would write, Dear Spirit Guides, I allow you to write through me now. You can do this on your computer as well if you're faster at like typing, I guess, than writing on pen and paper, like writing with pen and paper. And then you just write all the words to come to mind. Like, honestly, it does work. I've had instances where it was like, you need to stop stressing. Everything is going to be okay. Or like specific words would come out and be like anxiety and then crossing out the anxiety. Like, it's really weird. You have to just allow yourself to flow with it. Stop thinking about it so much and just feel into it. It might be weird the first time you do it, I'm not gonna lie, but the more you do it, Again, it feels really comforting to know that you're not on your own. And what's crazy is like, it's accurate. For me, it's been accurate. You know, I've asked my spirit guides like specific situations. I've been like, why the fuck is this happening? I was getting so frustrated with certain things in my life. And I was like, why is this happening for Christ's sake? And then I would be like, I allow you to speak through me now. And I would be really frustrated. My ego would be like, well, I'm fucking curious what they're gonna say now because this situation is clearly unfair and I don't understand why it's happening. And then they would just speak through me and be like, listen, my love, we know that you're stressed and we don't want you to feel stressed. In fact, we are only bringing this into your life so that you can realize who you really are. And they're like, we see how beautiful you are. We see your worth, but you are stressing so much about these things. It's almost like you don't trust yourself. You don't have enough confidence to know that things are always happening the way they should and that you're perfect, you know, you don't need to worry about what this person or that person thinks of you, you're perfect the way you are. They will say things to me like longer sentences that feel like, holy shit, that is what I needed to hear. I really hope that this helped. Please feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. I know this is like quite a difficult thing for a lot of people, but you know, I figured might as well put out this video. Like, what, what do I have to lose? You know what I mean? There's always gonna be people who are gonna disagree with what I'm saying, but there's gonna be loads of people as well that hopefully will take my advice and this will help a lot. I know it helped me. It helped me, bitch. So I should not help you. Try it. Try it and let me know how it goes and I am sending you so much love.